Hi, I'm supposed to be cleaning up the lab, but uh, I thought I'd do a video on the follow-up on the Ekans microscope here, because I said I'd do a video if I got some more lenses to it, and I've got a couple of Barlow lenses down here, which we'll take a look at now. Um, this was a very popular video, this uh, uh, microscope. It, it's not... It's a different beast to the Tagano, but it was really cool in that um, the depth of uh, field that you can get and the auto zoom function of the boxes. Anyway, I'll link in the video. It's a it's a very cool uh, microscope for about 500 uh, US bucks. So anyway, I said that one of the problems with this is the uh, field of view. How much of the board that you're working on can you actually view at the widest angle for this lens at the 100 millimeters working distance, which is what you need to get the full zoom on this thing. And as you can see, it's about 19 millimeters across there. That's the absolute best you can, you can get a bit wider than that, but then you can't like zoom all the way with LBJ like this and go right in and zoom like that. So, you know, really, it's 19 millimeters uh, effective working distance. And of course you can just tilt your board like that and zoom in with that focus box there. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, um, so that really wasn't good for general purpose. It's great for really ultra fine stuff. So um, what I did is I ordered from uh, Ekans. I got a couple of these. I can't remember. I think they were like 30, 40 bucks each. I don't know. I'll link them in down below. We've got two Barlow lenses here, 0.35 times and 0.5 times uh, Barlow lens. And there we go. So those playing along at home, if you want a good look at that. And... I just got uh, both just in case, but uh, the 0.35 is going to be the best. So let's whack on that Barlow lens onto the bottom. It'll just screw in here like this, and it should increase our field of view. So we, without having to change anything else, without having to change the, uh, well, the working distance is a bit lower now, but let's, maybe we can put it back to our 100 millimeters uh, that we have before, but instantly, Bingo, we're up from 19 millimeters up to 26 millimeters. So that's, you know, that's more usable than uh, what we had before. And of course, you can still tilt this thing like this. And it looks like there's no distortion in that lens, like no like barrel distortion at the edges, maybe absolutely minimal. But yeah, it's still, still pretty funky. Now, of course, we can go wider than that, of course, by just getting a greater distance like this, and I can keep going like this, and it's still gonna work. So we can get, like, oh, that's as far as uh, I could readjust it, but then what have I got there? I've got two, 150 millimeters working distance, for example, and we're now up to 37, 38 millimeters field of view there, which is good enough. I mean, let's put a real board in there, shall we? I'll talk about this board in a second, and uh, there we go, that's pretty good. Right, these, these are like um, 0805s, are they? Yeah, these are 0805s. That's the kind of general purpose magnification that you want. And at this 150 millimeters working distance, we'll find that we probably don't get a very good zoom range, or do we? Oh, yeah, it can still do it. I'm amazed at that, actually. I, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's focus hunting now, so I can't do it. So at 150 millimeters, Right, that's probably the best you can do. Let me actually find the optimal distance. But it gets even better. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this working distance. What is it? We're talking 330 millimeters working distance here with this 0.35 Barlow lens. This is at the maximum widest uh, angle. And look at this, absolutely 72 millimeters working width. We can get that almost that in, well, we can definitely get the entire width of that board in there. That is absolutely fantastic. And we haven't even reached the extreme limit of the zoom in yet, because we can go like this. Let's go in. Let's keep zooming in. I've got to even go to a greater working distance. I've got to adjust this up even further. Check out that. That's insane. Like I've got that right to the maximum. <laughs> Look at the working distance. That is 400 and, what, no, 375 millimeters working distance there. And I'm not quite at the maximum zoom yet, 
but we can go right up to like that's like four you know like 13 and a half almost four to say 13 millimeters working uh field of view there and yeah as i said that's probably the maximum there but let me let me try this see if our focus box still works with this insane should yeah look at that i mean imagine look i'm, I'm going to do something extreme i'm going to do something crazy i'm going to watch this look i i'm tilting that board up like that let's go right up here like this can it can it refocus oh that's that's crazy that's crazy look at that i can focus on the end of that that's just nuts i've got that near vertical near vertical and i can focus um i can auto focus within at least 100 at least 150 millimeters range i could go further but that's just absolutely incredible with that 0.35 barlow lens oh wow look at that 200 is it going to be 300 yep I, I can't even hold that still long enough that's 300 millimeters autofocus uh well it's it's not depth of field but the, the uh, range over which it can focus 300 millimeters at what was it 370 millimeters like that just by adding the 0.35 Barlow lens that is nuts anyway uh, why I wanted to put why I wanted to show you this board is because uh, uh, I got one of these you know HDMI um, splitter things which um, you know it takes HDMI in and it gives you two HDMI outs it, because I had problems um, hooking this up uh, this camera up to my AVIO 4k uh hdmi capture device which is down there which works fine with my tagano but it doesn't like my it doesn't like this e akins um or Eakins uh microscope at all the hdmi output doesn't so i can't capture the hdmi output first so i thought this might uh re-encode it for me but uh unfortunately it doesn't so what we've got in there is a uh lattice Here's our HDMI input, little impromptu teardown. Uh, we've got a lattice semiconductor. What is that? I don't know. Is that a SI? Do I, I don't have to look that one up. Is that a, uh, a CPLD or a um, FPGA? I don't recognize that number. Anyway, um, and then we've got a uh, Pericom uh, HDMI uh, MUX chip, which then you can see the, whoop. Whoa, there we go. It's been a bit fussy. It's been a bit fussy, Pants. Have I got it too high? I might just have it <laughs> too ridiculous. Oh, it's all over the shop. Oh no, it's making a fool out of me. Nope, nah, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Got some uh, focus hunting problems in this thing, but you know, like this is just extreme working distance um anyway it's got a pericom uh chip i'll probably put it in i got the data sheet over here and i thought it uh, uh re like it might re-encode it um or something like that but uh anyway it's got uh, yeah so it's a swear like it's a, a mux um or a dmux thing that uh well you know a dual driver in there and it doesn't work either so it just doesn't detect the hdmi output of the eakins uh display uh, eakins microscope at all so that's a bit of a bummer but anyway i just wanted to show you that um and <laughs> of course the 0 0.5 will be somewhere in between that so you know um <laughs> the 0.35 works fantastic though with very little distortion and it's very cheap addition to this thing so if you are going to buy one of these and i'll put the link down below you have to get the correct uh uh, Eakins microscope because they come in many different uh, versions so I'll put the link into the proper AliExpress uh, store down below but um, yeah it's it, just get the 0.35 adapter so we have the uh, 0.5 now and we could go in there and play around with that but it's it, it's not going to be as good and yes we can actually um, unfortunately it doesn't have the thread on the bottom you can actually put both on there and that would inf effectively give you but we start it looks like we're starting to see just like on my tagano starts to give you a bit of barrel distortion there at the wider uh, at, at the wider angle let's yeah 
like the, the Tagano has got real problems in that, but the Tagano has a massive zoom range. Yeah, you can see it's sort of a bit of barrel distortion on there on the board. So not much you can do about that. But yeah, we can actually put, well, just only use one. And there we go. So from the 0.35 to the 0.5, I just went from about 62 millimeters field of view to about 70. So, you know, you could get either one of those adapters and it's going to work a treat. But for like a, I don't know, what was it? I think it was, was it 50 bucks for two or was it $50? No, it might've been 50 bucks for two or something. Anyway, they're, they're, they're pretty affordable and they seem to be really good quality. So I don't know uh, where they're made or whatever. It seems to have like some artifacts in there. Maybe I have to clean it or something but anyway um yeah i don't see any major uh, barrel distortion and and that's sort of working distance that's just <laughs> unbelievable so anyway that's a huge upgrade if you're going to do like more practical stuff i recommend that you uh, uh at least get one of those lenses to give you a wider field of view unfortunately it's not nearly as wide as the tagano um because really like that's the smallest uh, well that's the biggest thing that I can put under there. What is that size of an Arduino shield? You know, not much bigger. And that's the maximum field of view that I can get on that. So if you want to look at bigger boards, so for my video production stuff, this isn't as, still isn't as good as the Tagano. Just the, the range, the width, um, the field of view width change based on the 40 times zoom of this thing. Um, the, the Tagano still uh, kills it, but this is an absolute brilliant, microscope. I'm still thoroughly impressed by this and the new Barlow lenses work. So anyway, I hope you liked that update. If you did, give it a thumbs up. As always, links to the uh, Ekins microscope down below. Catch you next time.